Yeah. <laughs> just a mountain. Just a cutaway. Yeah. Uh, oh my God. No, but I mean, really satisfying. No. <laughs> uh, after after recording the episodes, like Brendan and I would spend a lot of time, obviously, writing the episodes, and and then going recording recording them, and it was just it could be very intense, and, and you're trying to get points across and, and certain direction across, and it was afterwards we were always we were burnt out, and we would go for a walk when we left after recording, and we would always end up walking through this uh, cemetery that was nearby. And it was very, it was a beautiful cemetery. I mean, a lot of, lot of headstones, but very pretty, a lot of ponds. And um, a couple of times there was uh, uh, funerals going on, which um, I felt though it just really put things into perspective. And you yeah. thought, you know, we're all, we're all gonna die someday, so you better get the show right. Um, and the writing process with Brendan was, we had a lot of fun. We really did. We would meet at a coffee shop or sometimes a restaurant and we would, you know, come up with all these different ideas and just play off each other. And, and we came up with some really funny stuff that, uh, that we really enjoyed, um, that probably never made it into the episodes, but, uh, it was a lot of fun in that process. Um, probably my favorite favorite episode of season two that I wrote was um, the party episode because it was the debut, I believe the debut of Fenton Muley, the character that Sam Cedar played, right. which was, he did a phenomenal job with this, this spoiled brat character and, and did a little twist on a normal spoiled brat character. Um, and that was just a lot of fun. Um, some of the ideas, like I think, I think identifying a body brought something new to animated, you know, cartoons or, you know, that kind of show, because I yeah. think it was, it was kind of a morbid subject, um, but not in the hands of, of uh, you know, someone like McGurk and Brendan, who knew, you know, who would make it fun. Um, and that was our goal, was to, you know, when we had the idea later on, um, Brendan had the idea of McGurk having a heart attack and everybody thought how morbid, and we thought what a great idea for a comedy show was yeah. a heart attack, somebody about to die. And, uh, and it was, that was a great episode, also for another DVD. It was, so, it was so easy to write for these characters. I think that was, um, you know, they were so well-defined and, and really well-rounded, and they could cover so much ground, you know. You, you weren't stuck in one in one genre like of writing, like this is the mad guy, this is the, you know, here's the wacky neighbor type of character thing. Everybody could do so many different things and it was, it made it really easy to write for and really fun to write for. We would do table readings. Um, Brendan would, Brendan and I would work together, then we'd go off on our own and write our, our episodes right. and then we'd come back and have a table read. And it was really, those were really fun because it was just like Lauren and Melissa and Brendan and myself and one of the other um, audio guys, maybe Jack, and, and we would read the scripts in a little booth, and it was really fun. That's where I think we had a, a lot of laughs because it was so genuine and everybody, it was always fun to have everybody laugh. Yeah, it was fun to hear people laughing at the stuff that you wrote and the characters and appreciate it. And Talk about old friends. <laughs> this guy's ancient. Inspiration, you know, right here. <laughs> oh man, it was so uncomfortable. But just for a moment. No, but just just the weight of your body. <laughs> <laughs> oh.